a distinctly South African kickoff to launch a distinctly South African cultural centre. Housed in the country's consulate to New York, officials here hope it will foster an appreciation of Mzanzi's people, heritage and institutions. And a ribbon cutting to mark its official opening. It was imperative upon us following our relocation to make the most of the opportunity that cultural diplomacy uh, provides and presents. Having moved into a sizable space, space that required a lot of imagination and, and thinking differently and doing things differently, we, we imagined ensuring that we have a little bit of a cultural center, a little bit uh, ma making the most of the space that you saw upstairs we're in. The space features an inaugural exhibition titled Washboard and Mirrors by one of the country's most notable cultural exports, work celebrating the coalescence of the materials of both his South African roots and where he currently resides in the Appalachian USA. These are collages. It's a wonderful method in that you are able to bring items from the various cultures that influence your work. For instance, if you look at the paintings that are at this exhibition, you find a lot of South African themes. For instance, music and dance, you know, the FAMU music, the accordion. You see works that pay homage to a friend of mine who died uh, in 2018, Huey, Hugh Masegela. So you see a lot of trumpet. But you also see works that are influenced by my life here in the United States. You see the washboard featuring. You see all the items that have meaning in as far as performance, because the washboard itself, although it was originally created to wash clothes, in the Appalachian region where I live, is a musical instrument. These found objects are what are used to play. The country's chief diplomat given a personal tour of the space as South Africa seeks to boost its cultural diplomacy as a key peg of international relations. We are also here this evening to officially launch the first ever South African Cultural Center, which we hope will not only serve as a window to South Africa, but will also provide South Africa-based artists as well as those in the diaspora, a platform to share in the state of New York and in continental USA and to bring to life the artistic vibrancy of our culture. In order to ensure that you have a true sense of the talent that lies in South Africa and of its colorful culture, a center officials here hope will contribute to nation building while exposing South African artists, both from home and the diaspora, to a new audience, with high praise for Mdar's contribution to the country's heritage through his artworks. He doesn't have to talk about them. They will tell their story. That's how they've been created uh, by him. But I would like to really underscore the important role that culture plays in crafting a unique identity for us as Africans, us as a South African people, and for the global community in its entirety. In South Africa, we have an incredible, colorful artistic identity, which we've been absolutely keen to share with the world. But we've not always had the opportunity to articulate our objectives around these intentions. Once fully operational, the cultural center will be managed by an independent board of directors and operate as a non-profit organization. Sherman Bryce, SABC News, New York.